should you be real or be fake? Because we live in a world where it's extremely hard to be real. Everybody feels the need to distinguish themselves. Everybody feels the need to have conviction in what they say, have self-confidence. Everybody feels the need to fall into some distinguishing identity because you can look on the internet and you can find a million other motherfuckers just like you. So what makes you? What makes you real? The only thing that makes you real is the evolution of you. Because look, if you're a broccoli haired little fucking kid right now, realize you can go on you can go on Instagram and find a million other motherfuckers just like you, who talk just like you, who think just like you. But all those motherfuckers are bound to change as well. And none of them are going to take the exact same path as you. You are the evolution of you. That's the only real thing about you that you have to realize. And that's the only real thing that distinguishes you is your story. Because your story shows the evolution of you. It shows something deeper about you that you don't even have control over. Right? We think we have control over all this different shit. We don't even have control over shit. We think we can just control who we are. You can't even control who you are. When you start acting authentically, that means you, re you recognize, I have no control. I have no power. A lot of times we, we, we put on this facade and we think that people come to see us for that. And simple-minded people may. But the truth is, the intelligent people, the people who are acting authentically can see right through your bullshit. And the way you project yourself is simply, you know, you, you can't hide how you present yourself to authentic people. You can't hide the, the real you to authentic person, to an authentic person. You ever looked in the eyes of a motherfucker, you know, you're just sitting on a park bench or some shit, having a conversation with somebody, and you look into the eyes of a person, and you realize they see straight through your bullshit. They see straight through who you really are. I've had a lot of those encounters in my life. And I've learned a lot more being in those types of situations than I ever would have in school or in these environments where everybody is acting the same way. Everybody is trying to fucking fit in. Or everybody is trying to fit out, which is the same thing as fitting in. The only way you distinguish yourself is with your story. That's the only thing that truly makes you unique. Everything else is just a product of right here and now. You can't control what your circumstances made of you. Or I should say, you can't control what the circumstances make of you right now, but you can control what they make of you in the future. And so to get back to the question, be real or be fake, you can't be either one. Tell the truth to you, you can't be either one. You think you could choose who you be you don't have a fucking choice. And as soon as you recognize that you don't have a fucking choice, that's when you can be real. That's when you can be fucking free. That's when you can sit out here on a fucking park bench on a Sunday and record YouTube videos for random people that you don't even know. <laughs> If you want to have conviction in yourself, you have to be authentic. 
But to be authentic is to realize I don't even really know where the fuck I'm headed. Or I don't even, I don't even really know how the fuck I'm gonna get there, but I know exactly where I'm headed. I may not know exactly where I'm headed in circumstance, but I know exactly where I'm headed up here. That's called having faith. Having faith in what? Having faith. You don't need to put your faith in any fucking thing. Faith is a verb. Or faith is a, a noun, one of the two, I don't fucking know. But you just gotta have faith. Faith is wherever life takes me, I was meant to be here anyways. And a lot of that shit we don't have control over anyways. But I promise you having faith will take you down a path that is authentically yours and not anybody else's. Having faith is gonna bring you closer to your authentic self. Does being authentic allow you to have faith? Or does having faith allow you to be authentic? I don't fucking know, but they go hand in hand. So you can't have one without the other. You gotta understand where you're headed, but realize that you have absolutely no fucking clue how you're gonna get there. And that's it, I'll leave it at that.